Okay, so I needed to run it back. Uh, the last video, I liked it, I enjoyed it. The cats are still going crazy around me, by the way. Like, I'm seeing shadows and stuff. Uh, but anyway, the first video, I enjoyed it, I liked it. I really felt like, even though I passed that one minute time frame, like, yeah, I said what I wanted to say, and it was a good example. So, I am running it back, same clothes, same day, because after I edited and posted that video, you can find it on my YouTube or Facebook, I realized that the audio was crap. It was crap, so. Because I used just my camera audio. So, the good thing about phones, like, Back in the day, I think regular phones, like they used to be dialing in numbers of people you knew and then like calling them and then they would answer, even if they didn't know the number calling and you, the two of you would like have a conversation. And like Pepperidge Farm remembers. I know audio is important, but the reason I brought up the phones is because they're actually really good at audio. And so sometimes you take it for granted because you post videos all day long on your cell phone. When you switch to a regular camera, the in-camera microphone typically isn't gonna be anywhere near as good as like an iPhone or something like that. So this time I'm gonna try and accentuate the same parts, but I'm gonna use fewer LEDs and you'll, you'll see overall that like increasing the light completely like across and throughout the image is going to make everything crisper, more clear, especially if you're using mobile phones for your video. If you've got a side hustle, if you've got a small business and you're the one creating all the content, window light, daylight is undefeated. There's nothing that will be better for you for the cost, that's the bigger cat, uh, nothing that will be better for you for the cost than daylight. So learning to control daylight and to set up your positioning and things like that for your video, that's gonna be crucial to your success. But before I do that, I wanna set the time, set a timer for one minute, and I wanna at least be able to set okay. it up. One minute and counting. In one minute, go. Okay, so. I just very quickly enhanced the quality of this shot. There's more depth of field. I've even got it stopped down lower than it was last time for the video with the other lights. So what you can see is the same concept in practice, but with daylight. So I've got kind of like a key light coming in from both directions here, which isn't normal. Like I'm not going for cinematic, but uh, I've got daylight coming in from the backyard. My timer's up. Daylight coming in from the backyard from a back door window and an actual window and then I got a fill light window that's coming over here to fill in some of the shadows on this side of my face. Um, there's still no fill here so it's sort of cinematic. And then you can see in the back that the window over here is not just a window. Uh, the window over here is allowing light to pour into the bookcase so it's already drawing your attention there. But just in case I turn on those puck lights and you can see the puck lights over here. Um, I hope you guys can see just how much like positioning yourself appropriately is going to help your videos. Like. Uh, if you don't know this, you're not in the videography, cinematography, but you want to like have engaging videos that like keep people's attention, then you should know that the, the, the most appropriate way to light is going to be with a key light, which is going to be like usually like uh, camera left um, onto your talent so that there will be shadows cast. And then you want lighting ratio between the key light, which is your main light, and any fill light that you use. But for your purposes, you want a main light, your biggest source of light, just off to the left or off to the right of you. And, and up, like coming from the sky downward, because like, I mean, that's how the light works outside. Like it'd be weird if it was coming up from the ground. That's not normal. We don't perceive light that way typically. Um, creatively, you can mess around with it, but in terms of like just getting your video done, like stand where they're your best and biggest light kind of shines flatteringly down on your face, it gets rid of the bags under your eyes, slims out your face. Uh, these windows are level with me, so you see less of that. I am way past the one minute timeline. This is definitely not gonna make it to Instagram. <laughs> like, I, I mean, most people have like a corner in their house where they've got maybe a window on either side of that corner. And so that's a really good spot where it takes care of two light sources. Uh, and then you really just wanna backlight yourself. But something that gives you that nice glow around the edges, um, or at the very least, highlights an interesting piece in the background. So right now I have a backlight, but I still think it looks pretty good in here. Uh, you can see those lights that are accenting those places, same as before, but this is the daylight version of it. But yeah, so thanks for tuning in again. I had to go for a twofer. And you know, originally I was gonna bury that first video and just do it better, but that's probably been the biggest like in barrier to me putting out content and like just sharing useful and helpful tips is like wanting it to be perfect now that I've learned different elements of uh, videography and production and cinematography. Um, but it's not gonna be perfect. And one of the best ways I can think of, the little kitten is playing with my headphone cord. Uh, one of the best ways that I can think of 
to create content and do so easily is to share the lessons I learned every time I upload a video. I'm not gonna obsess about it in post-production post and edit a bunch of stuff like I have been up to this point and then never end up releasing anything because that's why I've been promising content and haven't delivered. Instead, I'll just look, look back at the video, see what the flaws are, and then talk about what I missed there. Either it's an opportunity for me to learn or it's to share um, just how much you have to cover to do a really good, well-rounded video. Yeah, so anyway. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you are watching this on YouTube, please, please, please feel free to hit that like button um, and subscribe if you can, and then you'll get a notification anytime I post new content. And <laughs> this was fun. Like, I am enjoying doing these videos because they feel like kind of like exercises in what I've already learned. Yeah, anyway, that's the video.